What's going on, YouTube? Just got off on Exit 56. And this is a Monday afternoon. Monday. Tell them what's up. But anyhow, I'm going to make this video as quick as possible. I know I always say that. But this video is basically, uh, I've talked to my kennel partner and my cousin. And they were just talking about how guys back home, like, breeding dogs. And everybody breeding dogs. But nobody really know kind of what style of bull they want. Because they're they buying bulls from... Breeders that's not, they're not buying the style that they want. They're buying a whole different style. They might want micro, but they're buying pockets. They might want pockets, but they're buying micro. You see what I'm saying? So it's, it's that kind of deal. So they're not knowing the style of the bull that they want. So I'm probably going to title this video, Know the Style or How to Pick Your Style Bull. You know what I mean? Whatever. How to Pick Your Style of Bull. I don't know. But anyhow, uh, I'm going to get straight to it. Listen, bro, when you're buying a dog, a puppy, whatever, you first hopping in, the first thing you need to know, not we're gonna throw money out. We're gonna throw money out. Every we're gonna just say everybody got money. You know what I mean? We're gonna disregard the cash because everybody got cash, right? Or at least that's what y'all say. So without the money, we throwing it out. The first thing you need to know is what style of bull that you want. That would be my opinion. That's what I think. Somebody else might say something else, but I think for you to get started, you gotta know what style of dog you want. If you don't know what style of bully you want, you're going to be lost in the sauce. You know what I'm saying? You're just going to be buying stuff. And you're going to be starting over and over and over and over. So you got to know. You got to know if you want micros. You got to know if you want the micro with the clean bite micro with the bulldoggy look. You got to know if you want a clean front with spread or elbows. You got to know what style board that you want. Because you don't, if you don't know the style board that you want, like I say, you're going to be lost, bro. I guarantee you. Uh, hold on. <clears throat> Alright, I'm back. Like I was saying, I was looking for that puppy. I couldn't find a little ass. But anyhow, I said you're gonna be lost, man. You're gonna be real good lost. So know the style of bull that you want before you get started. You know what I mean? If you're looking for a pocket, you know what I mean? Find you a pocket breeder. If you're looking for a micro, find you a micro breeder. Now granted, there's some guys out here to bring breed XL, standards, pockets, micro, they breed them all. So if you want to go to them, find you one of them. But once you know the type of bull that you want, hone in on it do your research go to shows go wherever you gotta go and figure out shake some hands get some cards get some information link up with the guys and then you know go from there but you can't do anything unless you know the style of board that you want i guarantee you i mean you could do something but you're gonna be going backwards all the time every time so once you know the style of board you want you go from there you build your yard you buy whatever female it is that you're looking for you see what I'm saying? Uh, if, and if you know what style of bull you want, that's probably going to dictate how much money you're going to spend. Truth be told, you know, I'm just keeping it all the way 100 with you. That's going to dictate how much money you're going to spend when you know the style that you want. So, you know, once you know that, you can go however you want to go. You know what I mean? You know, the sky's the limit after that point because you're going to know the direction you're going. Now, granted, directions do change. But at least if you know in the beginning, I want this style of bull, you ain't all over the place. You can start your yard off how you need to start it off, you know. And uh, stop falling for the bull, man. Stop letting these guys tell you something is this and it ain't. Like, research it. Like, if somebody tell you something, don't just take their word for it. Even if I tell you something, research it yourself. But if they tell you something, go research it. You know what I mean? And, and if you want to buy something from a certain program, just research their program. Make sure they are who they say they are. Make sure they produce what they say they produce. Don't just take their word for it, brother. So... You know, stop getting lost in the sauce, man. Stop believing what these folks telling y'all. And stop taking information from motherfuckers that don't know what they talking about. Believe me, B. It's a lot of breeders. But it's a lot of them. It's a million of them. It's a million of them. And a lot of them don't know what the hell they talking about. I ain't gonna never tell you that I know everything. But I know I know a lot about a little something. You know what I mean? Or I know a little about a lot. However it goes. Uh, so, however it is, man. Whatever I tell you, if I know it, I know it. If I don't, I tell you I don't know it. And even if I know it, like I say, research it. Research it. You know, do your own research. You know what I mean? I might tell you, but you might just need to do the research yourself. And you might find something other than what I said. And we can come together and be like, oh, I didn't know that. And you might change it. Like, oh, damn, I didn't know. Now I know. So, uh, but yeah, man, I don't want to get too far off. Just kind of, like I say, know the style of board that you want, bro. Know the style. And if you know the style... Can't nobody tell you 
hey, I'm selling you this, and then they're selling you that. And just for, you know, reference, you know, a micro bullet, if I'm not mistaken, is 10 to 12 inches. Pocket is 13 to 17. Something like that. I know micro for sure is like 10 to 12, but not lots out there in pocket 10 to 17 and nano is anything under 10 some shit i don't know i don't really keep up with the with the with the inches like that but i do know that's kind of where it you know kind of where it's at but you know just that's just for a reference for the ones that don't know and buying dogs and people tell them they getting this and they getting that you know so i ain't gonna tell you no i ain't gonna tell you look bro i'm sending you a micro then i'm sending you a pocket i ain't gonna do that I'm gonna tell you what I think the dog gonna be. If I'm bringing two micros, the pocket, two micros, the micro, I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna get. Now, if I bring a pocket to a micro, which I've done two, three times, I tell you, but I did it for my own reasons. I know what I've done it for. You know, some dogs I got with pocket, some dogs with micro out of it. So I did it for my reason, my reason only, and I knew why I was doing it, and I'm glad I did it. So, you know, and I'm gonna tell you, look, bro, I bring a pocket to a micro. You might get this. It's my and some dogs I can look at and tell like, nah, this gonna it's gonna be short, it's gonna be a micro. Some of them be like, ah, right, he a little bit bigger. He probably gonna end up being a pocket or borderline. You know, end up hitting that 13 inches where he'll be considered pocket, but still a short dog. So, what I say, man, just do your research. And once you do your research, you'll be all right. But the first thing first is always know the type of bull that you want and you can't go wrong. All right? I'm gonna get on up off of here. Uh, I always remember, well, you know what it is. If you want it, I got it. I don't, I get it. Get why the getting is good. Signing off, AZ56 Network. Peace.